In writing this book, I wanted to share with parents and practitioners all of the research that we've done over the years with over 5,000 parents and babies and other academics have done about the biology of baby sleep and how that can be used to inform how we understand babies and how we might respond to them. Babies are born incredibly helpless and they need parents to provide them with security and contact and comfort, etc. over that first year of life. So the idea of being able to sort of train a baby to behave in a way um, that fits with our adult lives um, is, is a bit of an unrealistic expectation and maybe one of the things that parents can do is adjust their expectations of their babies over that first year. New parents often feel a lot of peer pressure from family and friends but also from social media about the need to have a good baby, the need to have a baby who sleeps through the night and that a good baby is basically a baby who doesn't bother you and doesn't disturb you. Um, that doesn't match with biological reality so I would encourage parents who are hearing those kind of things about not picking their baby up or they'll spoil them, not responding to them in the night etc. Um, to arm themselves with the scientific information about baby sleep and learning to ignore some of those myths and misconceptions about baby sleep and to have confidence in saying, no, I understand my baby better than that. So a good practical tip for parents is to think about their babies developing circadian rhythm. So when they're born, babies don't have a day-night rhythm and that sort of builds over the course of the first three or four months. So going outside in the morning with your baby and exposing them to daylight every day is a really good way to help and train their circadian rhythm and help them to develop a biological response to daylight. And it's really good for parents' mental health as well.